crypto space is concerned, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I see sort of two paths in terms of your vision here. One is facilitating what I know you're very passionate about, which is financial inclusion and allowing or facilitating people to invest in, in crypto or digital assets if they want to accumulate wealth and think there's a way to do that. But the other thing is the network effect. So allowing people to transact between cryptocurrencies, let's use Bitcoin as an example, transact and, and swap that into fiat currency and then spend it. Are those the two paths? Well, we want to be in the middle of any movement of funds. And we, we don't try to decide what's going to take off or not take off. And we don't pick winners and losers. We just get ready to enable whatever could possibly happen. And I think crypto is an exciting trend. There are, there's cryptocurrencies, which are kind of the digital gold. Think of uh, Bitcoin. And there, what we're trying to do is create utility. Uh, which, first of all, allowing, making sure that our Visa cards are, are used to be able to purchase Bitcoin. And then when somebody wants to convert their Bitcoin to a fiat currency, uh, use, to use a Visa credential to you, go shop at our 70 million merchants around the world. So we're trying to create that utility. In digital currencies, we really see them as a, a potential player in, in global commerce going forward. And we're doing a number of things to make sure that we enable that to happen if, in fact, that's what consumers want to have happen. So we're working with 35 of the big, biggest digital, uh, I'm sorry, the biggest crypto uh, wallets around the world, making sure that these uh, various digital currencies can be converted into a fiat currency and that money can then be spent uh, from a Visa card in a, in a wallet, and again, at any one of our 70 million merchants around, around the world. We're also looking to make sure that we can, and we've been working on our infrastructure for 18 months to make sure that we can enable digital settlement. Uh, today, we set, we allow transactions at 160 currencies, and we settle in the evening on 25 different currencies. Over time, I looked at for us to be able to settle in cryptocurrencies, and we're experimenting with that right now with a, with a couple of issuers and over time with acquirers. And then... Last week, I think it was, we announced a, a set of crypto APIs, which are basically allowing a bank to, for their customers to have an on-ramp through their mobile app or through their website to be able to go buy, uh, trade, and custody uh, cryptocurrencies like Bit Bitcoin. And our, our first pilot is with, with First Boulevard, a, a company that's focused on uh, the black community in the United mm. States and trying to help them. Uh, get to uh, a state where they, they, they're more financially included in the mainstream. And, and that's something that's extremely important to us. The bottom line is that I, I don't know whether crypto will be adopted and at what pace it will be adopted, but we are ready to go and we're leading the marketplace by a lot in terms of setting up the on-ramps for people to be able to facilitate using uh, these uh, various digital currencies.